Good morning. Good morning. Oh, I'm glad you're here. I'm Jose Antonio Bowen. I'm the dean of the Meadow School. I'm very, very glad to be able to welcome you to the Meadow School and to SMU and to Dallas, some of you. Um, and I apologize for the humidity. It's not really like this, those of you from New York. Um, but hopefully we'll have a nice day when we're outside today. Uh, and a stimulating day here inside. So as always for these things, we begin with a tiny bit of context. Uh, so about two and a half years ago, I had a conversation with Joanna Pasula. And I said, Joanna, we have this thing, this new thing, and I want your help. This, this Meadows Award thing we've been doing, where we give this prize to some famous person, and they come and they pick up a trophy. Um, it's just not been working. Um, we're going to reinvent this thing as the Meadows Prize. And you all know that Dallas is enormously ambitious in the realm of the arts. The Dallas wants to be known as a great cultural destination, a world-class city, and I'm going to stop with it. I'm not putting the scare quotes there every time, but you've all heard those. That's what Dallas wants to be, a cultural destination, arts capital of the world, et cetera. Um, OK, so we built some pretty cool buildings down downtown. And as you all know, the, the problem with that is cool buildings are a nice start, but they're, they're not enough. Uh, and so today is about the rest, about what else we do, about how we combine uh, design with community, how we think about art and how to integrate it into our city. So I had this conversation with Drake, and we want to have a, this Meadows Prize. Um, it's, we're going to launch this on opening night of the at and Performing Arts Center. It's the very, very, very first thing that will happen on the Wiley stage, the very first public thing that will happen. It needs to be spectacular, right? I need to demonstrate to the city of Dallas what happens, what kind of artists we could bring to Dallas, what kinds of conversations we could have, what can artists really do for our city? And Joanne said, well, what, you know, Ann Passionat, what about creative time? And I said, that's a great idea. I don't know Ann. Can you help us? And so Joanne initiated a series of conversations. I then had conversations with Ann and Pat. Ann, are you here someplace? I can't see. Wait for me. OK, and Ann's a little like it, and we talked. Um, and Ann had not been to Dallas. I said, just wait. So the inaugural Meadows Prize was actually given to two groups. One is H. Blackbird. They were also in residence this last year. They are a contemporary uh, classical music ensemble. They do only the work of living composers, uh, and they sell out concerts and win Grammy Awards, and that's a pretty tough combination. So they were also winners. Uh, so we gave the, one of the first Meadows Prizes to, to Creative Time and invited them to Dallas and said, come and talk to us. Uh, and when we first talked, I didn't know what we would do. So I said, I don't know. Uh, come to Dallas, see what you think. So the result of a number of visits was this Creative Time report on the Dallas arts community, which has been on the D Magazine website for a while. And we've decided that we need to do more than just talk, so the report is nice, and we've had lots of interesting dialogue about it. Uh, but we really wanted to take some action. So this is the first in a series of dialogues that we hope will lead to more action. We were deliberate in wanting to have the segments of the vast numbers of communities in Dallas represented today. We didn't just want to talk to artists, or just talk to architects, or just talk to collectors, or just talk to donors, or just talk to neighborhood leaders. We wanted to have a mix of people both on stage and in the room. And for that, I'm enormously grateful to many, many people. Um, again, first to Anne, uh, for, first to Joanne for introducing me to, to Anne, and for Anne Pashnak and, and Creative Time for helping us assemble this panel and these people today. Uh, and mostly for today, most of what you're going to see in experience today has been organized. Actually, all of it has been organized by Leela Grosz, who's probably not here, right? I know all of you, probably all of you, have had some personal contact. She's been amazing, and um, I thank you, Leela, for what you've done, both for Dallas and the school, and especially today, we're gonna have a great time. Thanks to you, thank you. Uh, as always, I thank the Meadows Foundation, uh, because their money that helped us do all of this, and so my thanks to the Meadows Foundation for, uh, for sponsoring and supporting all of us. So, well, if you have a phone, you could put it on silent. But you could also use it to look at the e-program 
uh, which is on your phone. Then you know what happened to do, Layla? How do I get the e program on my smartphone? Oh, okay, so you have the, the, the program to take a photo. Okay, so I'll uh, get lunch, you can do that. Um, all right, so without further ado, I want to introduce uh, the man who's going to introduce the, the first speakers and, 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 and guide us through this morning. Uh, he is the chair of our division of studio art. Uh, he's been only been in Dallas uh, for about 18 months and has made an enormous impact already uh, in our school and in our community. Um, please, will you welcome Michael Corris? Thank you. 